to live in, food and water, an education, a right to work, and freedom from hardship and oppression. Millions of Syrians were desperate enough to leave their country because they wanted to be safe and have a better life for their families. But before many have tried to leave, many have died and drowned trying to cross the Mediterranean Sea in rubber dams. One of these was a three-year-old boy named Alan Kurdi, whose body washed up on a Turkish beach. This really got the world's attention, including our government. The refugees, lucky enough to survive the escape, end up in refugee camps, and the conditions can be pretty horrible. In these camps, they may have little food and clean water. They have no schools, no university, and adults are not allowed to work. You may think that Syrians should not enter our country because some may be terrorists. But before a Syrian comes to Canada, they have a thorough background check. Our government is planning to accept about 25,000 Syrian refugees. Build a better life. When they arrive in our country, Canada and its people will have a lot to offer because we are one of the wealthiest countries in the world. Individual Canadians can likely afford donations of money, food, clothing, toys, and services. When my Syrian refugee family comes to Canada, I plan on making a Welcome to Canada box for the four children. In conclusion, to have an uncertain future is a terrible thing. Imagine if you thought your dreams of the future might never come true. If Canada can just help a few thousand Syrian refugees build a better life, then we should. We all live on this planet together and should treat others as we would like to be treated. Thank you for listening.